DJ, did you have a, a sense that something like this was possibly going to happen before this season started? Uh, <laughs> a little bit, but uh, not as not as probably as fast as it happened. But uh, yeah, I had a little inkling that it would happen. How closely have you been following receivers around the league and what's been happening all spring and summer? Hmm. I mean, you got to follow it. They all breaking uh, new heights, uh, going to 35. And uh, I don't know. I, don't, I wasn't really in that mindset to go to the top, top. So I was just like, all right, what's, what's a good number? And let's go from there. Why did you want to get it done now with two years left on your old deal? Uh, I felt like I outplayed that one uh, due to the fact that uh, the money that was for this year was kind of low. And then uh, just the play that I had last year, and it proved that uh, I'm worthy of 20, well, 15 plus that was uh, on the table at the time. How, how does it feel to have gotten it done to be locked in with the Bears? Mm, six six years. Uh, it feels great. You know, uh, security, you know, uh, the guarantee money was awesome. So uh, that was the main part that, uh, that I loved out of the whole thing. You came in here, obviously, suddenly last year after the trade you went through. What does it mean to, to look to the long term and to be a part of this organization? What has this organization meant to you as well? Uh, the organization embraced me as soon as I got here. You know, uh, from the time that we got traded to to the time that Inc. got on that paper, it's been uh, nothing but love, and I can tell you to hope that it's always going to be that way, and uh, I'm going to go out there and keep putting my best foot forward. It's all come together over the last couple of days, and what was yesterday? Mm -hmm. just like how did it come about? Uh, shoot, um, they sent the offer probably like two days, like two or three days before, and we didn't respond. And then uh, my agent Drew and uh, everybody came uh, to the open practice yesterday, and then it just happened like that, like magic. Uh, <laughs> sort of kind of like how we uh, did the deal with the Panthers and took a few hours and we all was on the same boat with something and I approved it and it was good. You can, you you can think this organization stability. Do you see them kind of giving you stability here now just with what's in place with Caleb and where this offense is going? Uh, yeah, because if you look at our team, uh, I'm probably, what, I'm six years, Rome's five, Caleb's four. Five or four, well, and now with the quarterbacks these days, he might be three and get a new deal. You never know. Uh, we got Cole for four, I want to say. Like everybody's here for the long haul uh, on the offensive side, so that's pretty, uh, pretty secure for me. Is this what was your reaction, reaction when you first got traded here, and how has like your mindset changed with the team getting better, adding more talent? I don't think you want to know my mindset when I first heard that I was coming here, but uh, just say it's, it's it's great now. So. Uh, it was cool. Um, getting traded here probably was one of the best things. Uh, I had one of the best years that I ever had. Uh, and then I got a new deal. Uh, made history uh, with the Bears. So I'm, I'm happy. Is this, a, is this a sign of the faith you have in the quarterback going forward, too? Is when you sign up for six years, uh, if you weren't comfortable with, with the guy throwing you the ball? Yes, that's part of the reason. Uh, I think Caleb's going to be excellent. You know, uh, he's going to be a superstar. So I just wanted to be a part of that. To that end, to that end uh, DJ, you were one of the more vocal supporters of, of, of Justin Fields last year, and I'm just curious, what, what, what has been the most significant thing that Caleb has done to kind of win guys like you over in this locker room? What has he done? I mean, he's been himself. Uh, when I first met him, before we even drafted him, he was cool. Just, you know, you go on, how can I say this? You go on fight for the quarterback that that's with you, that you're going to rock with uh, during the season. So, I mean, Justin is my guy, but, I mean, he's also – he was the quarterback last year. Now we got Caleb. He's my guy times two because he's going to be here. So, you know, that's how we're going to rock. When you consider Caleb's future, what is it that you see in him that tells you that he's going to be the star that you think he's going to be? just how you handle our defense. You know, he, he dice them up. They show something new at him. He go around asking them questions on how he can be better with it. And I know he takes everything uh, – in one ear, and it just stays there. And then you go out there and carve them up, like probably the next two plays. And yeah, it's just amazing to watch.
They were obviously a little bit skeptical when, when you got here. That, that's what I'm assuming, based, based on you saying that we don't want to know what you thought. <laughs> um, yeah. I understand. I understand. At, at what point did that, that start to change? Uh, when I got here, and I was like, yeah, it's no going back. Uh, when I, when I, actually, when I first, I gave my reaction. I don't care. <laughs> when I first got, when I first got the car, I was like, oh. <laughs> but then I was just like, yeah, new beginnings, you know, new everything. So I just took it on with a uh, head full of steam with my family, and we was all just bored in. Once we got here, it was no looking back. Like, it's, we here now, like, for the long haul, for real, for real. Was the odd part because you didn't know? No, because let me, let me get this. Because we had just moved into a house, so it was like, dang, mm -hmm. we got traded. So I was just like, coming down the driveway, got the phone call. Yeah, you've been traded. Boom. Pose called me. Hey, we're glad to have you. So I had to have changed my whole mindset. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll be there. And, and that's how that went. There a sense of is there a sense of pride that you take? I mean, this was once known as the place where receivers go to die. And obviously what you did last year is, is something that they haven't had in a while. Do you take a sense of pride that you're changing the trajectory of this, of what offense means in Chicago? Yeah, I heard that coming here. I was I wasn't paying it no mind. I was like, shoot, I'm I'm still young. Maybe when they was all older, they was dying off. But uh, <laughs> when I got here, I mean, that was a thing. And then when the season was progressing the way it was, I was just like, yeah, we could throw that out the window now. And uh, as you can see, we got a whole bunch of playmakers now around here. That's that ain't true at no position. Are you officially a, a Chicagoan now? Can you say that? No, not yet. Maybe one more year. Got to gotta, gotta go to some places first to get, get approved. You, you talked about the security, the stability being here long term. What do you personally and then obviously as a team hope to accomplish when you look to this contract and your stability here? Wait, say that again? Because you asked like a few things there. Yeah, when you look to like the long term, what do you, you and what do you with this team hope to accomplish as you look to this contract length? Sure, I accomplished the contract part. Now we gotta go out there and win. Uh, starting with the division, then go from there. Uh, that's always the main goal of this season, and that's fourth. So I'm looking forward to it. DJ, a lot of guys need to, you know, sometimes there's different avenues to getting paid. Some guys need to hold out, request trades, whatever it is. It, not that there's anything wrong with that, but in your case, how much pride do you take in just, you know, being able to avoid all that and be able to be on the field like you have been, you know, throughout all this? I mean, I ain't never going to miss out on a paycheck, you know. Uh, I ain't want to pay no money back either. So I'm just I'm just with showing up and just working how I always work and just got through it. And when they when they said the time was right to start negotiations, uh, like I said, we took a few days. We Then we made it in person uh, to make it go quicker and got it done. It is, there's some pretty nice numbers in this deal. Is there anything that you've got your, <laughs> your heart set on? Is there any sort of like luxury purchase you or your family have got in mind here now that you got a little extra? Uh, nah. We our celebration uh, dinner was uh, Popeyes. <laughs> it was good too. Did it mean anything to you that you know you were the cover of the, the schedule release video and like their Bears seemed to be putting your face forward here? Oh, that was a long time. Like that whole thing whew, took like eight hours. I don't know about being furious again, uh, but uh, it it was good. Uh, being a face, I don't know about being a face. That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. Uh, we got Caleb now, so maybe he could take that on. But uh, it, I mean, it meant a lot. Uh, I had fun with it. Looking looking forward to still being uh, on some things. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. It, it was fun though. I just think it's underlining how much they appreciate. Oh, you you think so? Uh, I mean, they could just love me. So that's it. <laughs> love my face, adorable you, face. You mentioned how a lot of members of this offense are signed up for four, five, six years. One notable one. You is... You went to Oregon? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> did you? Did you, you go into the Big Ten? Yeah. Y'all stink. <laughs> <laughs> you good? No, I'm just messing. I'm messing. I'm messing. <laughs> no, nah, you're good. I can see. <laughs> you mentioned that a lot of members of this offense are signed up for, for a long time. One notable member who is not as, as Keenan, who said he was going to kind of wait to see how the season goes and how it plays out. Are you going to try to maybe convince him as the season goes along to, to stick around? I already did that now. I did that yesterday. I was like, man, listen, what's your number? Let's get it done. And 
I mean, I'm going to leave his number out of it, but uh, I think we could get it done. So it's, it should be interesting. To know, to know that the next couple of years, I mean, you had 12 quarterbacks throwing the ball over the first six. Mm -hmm. To know that you very likely have one, mm -hmm. next, you know, the, hopefully for the remainder of this deal, how do you process that? Knowing that you put up numbers with 12 mm -hmm. quarterbacks. I mean, but also I didn't have nobody else. But now we got Rome and Keenan. But like I said, uh, I had one year when we had Teddy, Robbie, and Curtis, and we all had a thousand. I had a thousand. Robbie had a thousand. Curtis had like a thousand all purpose. So, I mean, it's doable. I'm not really worried about that. So uh, we're gonna see. It's gonna be a lot of fun, though. TJ, I'm I'm sure you had a lot of help along the way. I was curious early in your career, was there a position coach or maybe a coordinator, somebody who really did something for you that, you know, tangibly, that really made a difference in your career and made you what you are today? Norv Turner. He made me learn every position on the field and go to practice running 100 miles an hour every day until I got to be able to be a starter. So I give kudos to him. I don't want to get too personal, but... Three-piece, four-piece, spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, now we had an eight-piece eight family dinner. Uh, it was it was classic. You know, my son and uh, had to eat, so he tore up some chicken, and my daughter was eating uh, the chicken and mashed potatoes, and they tore it up. But we couldn't do spicy, so because we got them too. Did you talk about security for yourself? What is that security for the locker room? What that do with the guys in the locker room? Oh my gosh! Yesterday, if you ask anybody, that probably the 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 turntest locker room I ever didn't been a been a part of. It was going berserk when everybody got back to their phone and seen what happened. So they was wondering why I uh, left walkthroughs last night, and they figured it out as soon as I they got back. It's pretty cool. What, what was that? Describe the scene. Ah, oh, I can't do that for you. No, I can't do that for you. Oh. Champagne showers. I'm going to walk off on that one. <laughs> Thank you.